at Play-Doh's closet. After this, I will go home, but I am so happy, you guys, because when I went in Barnes & Noble, I'm not kidding, I was in there for like an hour and a half, like, and I did not mean to be in there that long. I wasn't planning on buying anything. Well, I saw two books I was interested in, but one of the books I found by accident that I feel like I knew, I knew about it, but I didn't know about it. Like, I think I've seen a YouTuber talk about it, but I think I've only seen it once, but it's a Taylor Jenkins Reid book, and it is not The Seven Husbands, because everyone and their mom has read that, even I read it. This Taylor Jenkins Reid book is older, but it is after I do. I'm excited to read this. I did not know about it. I saw it sitting on the table at Barnes & Noble, and I was like, this looks interesting. It's Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love her writing. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo that I read last year was one of the best books I have read in a long time. I'm not joking when I feel like it's one of my top five books of all time. I have the physical copy and I have been wanting to reread it ever since the second I finished reading it. I wanted to reread it again so bad. I love her writing. The way she talks about things and she gets really deep, like I really love that and it just reminds me of what I used to write. I want to get back into writing so bad. You guys don't know how bad I want to publish a book and like people like it and even don't like it, you know? One of my top top dreams in life before I die is to publish a fiction book you probably a young adult I love young adult novels but enough about that let's talk about the book so if you are not aware I believe this book is about I believe they break up for just a little bit they took a year off and apparently they don't talk yeah they can't contact each other I don't know I didn't I did not have to open this book to see if I would like it I read this and I was like this is so interesting I did flip to one random page and I kind of related to it so much not that anything is wrong with my relationship but they were like arguing about what to eat and it was something subtle she I just read just a brief little part about it and she wanted to get pizza and I guess Ryan he was like I don't want pizza I want something else and then she was like well and she was naming off things like for them to eat and he just kept saying no and then she was like well I want to go out to eat and he didn't want to and it was a lot of miscommunication and I was just like wow this is real life and y'all know if you're in a relationship sometimes you and your boyfriend or girlfriend y'all are like together and it's like hey I'm hungry what you want to eat and it's like oh I don't know I don't care and then you name off places and then they don't want it if anything it's the other way around I'm Ryan in that situation my boyfriend be like okay what do you want I'll be like oh whatever and then he'll be like so you want to get pizza I'll be like no you want burger no and then he'll name a restaurant I'm like oh I don't really want that and then it's like can you just pick a place already so i don't know i feel like this would be relatable in a sense that sometimes you can be in a relationship and it's you have those boring moments you know the honeymoon phase is gone like you guys don't really go on dates anymore i don't know i just thought this would be such a good read and it was 18 dollars after tax so i thought that was a good buy i have a rule that if i finish a sample of a book i can buy it now this one is an exception i did not read a sample of this book but it's freaking taylor jenkins read of course i'm gonna like it but yeah i just want to let you guys know i bought a book i am so excited to read this i don't know i just love her writing i even like the pages i like how small the print is i don't know i just love her books so i don't know we'll see i'm kind of interested to see how this goes what if i don't like it as much as i think i will but i'm starting to notice she i read one book from her and fell in love so i'm hoping this is the same idea because i'm excited and it's actually really hot so i'm gonna sit here and probably start reading this while i wait for my clothes to see how much money i get so i guess i'll see you guys in the next clip hey guys obviously i am back home um, I just, I came back from Play-Doh's closet probably about an hour ago. It is currently five o'clock and I am starving. I'm gonna eat leftover pizza and it actually was pretty good yesterday. So I wanted to use the air fryer, but I think I'm gonna just pop it in the microwave. So that's where we are right now. Okay, so while I wait for my food to heat up, I kind of want to start reading the book already. Okay, so now I am sitting down, about to eat my pizza, start the book, and yeah. Okay, 
So I'm officially already obsessed with this book and I am only on page 11, but I'm at a little ellipses so I can stop here, but I'm already obsessed with this couple. Like it starts off and this isn't a spoiler, but I'll let you know if I spoil something. It starts off like, I guess, getting a glimpse of what they were like before they got married, like when they met and it's so cute. Like, and it's realistic. Like I think that's why I like Taylor Jenkins read is because like her scenarios low key are like realistic. I'm trying to set an example like you know some books are just too cliche or like you'll think okay that would never happen in real life taylor jenkins read she literally to me especially in evelyn hugo because that's the book i read from her the only other book i read from her her scenarios were like real like i don't know it just makes sense. i'm back so obviously it is later in the day it's actually super late like later than the last clip it is almost 10 30 p.m but after i was reading my phone cut out i think i'm just running out of storage on my phone but right now i'm just sitting in my room watching some gameplays of youtube and i just wanted to come on here and say i want to read for the rest of the night but i really need to like edit some videos and i need to edit this vlog too i was just coming on here to like update like yes i'm still home it is later but i think for the rest of the night i may read or i may edit right here i don't know but we'll see um so yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next clip wow. I look terrible. It is currently, if you can't tell by the clock, it is currently 1.30 in the morning. I have to be at work by 11, but I cannot put this book down. It is so good. I am on page, so I got this book today. I am on page 67. This doesn't have numbered chapters, but I'm on page 67 and it's really interesting. It went from like super cute to like downhill really quickly, but I will say there's no chapters, like chapter one, two, three, but it says like three years ago and then it jumps to two years ago, one year ago, a half, a year and a half ago. Like that's what's going on. And I kind of like that. It makes sense. It works for this type of book. Right now I am at the part where I think they're about to see what they want to do to help their marriage. Lauren just admitted that she couldn't stand Ryan anymore and Ryan admitted that he's been looking at other women so they it looks like I just skimmed through like the first couple of sentences of where I am but it looks like they are about to come up with the plan to not see each other for a year but not get a divorce I think or something like that so I guess I'll keep you guys updated I probably will read before work tomorrow like sometimes I sit in my car before I have to clock in or I can read during breakfast or on my break so that's probably when I'll read again um but I will keep you guys updated on what I'm reading but I really need to go to bed yeah it's 1 32 I need to go to bed so I will talk to you guys in the next clip okay so it is the next night after that last clip i've actually been reading most of the day um i am about one fourth through this is where i am and i started this yesterday so i'm on page 102 i'm not sure what chapter i am on this morning i listened to the audible um while i was getting ready for work and it looked like i was on chapter 17 so right now i might be in the 20s i don't know how many chapters are in the book because they're not really chapters but so far it is really good i'm really liking it i am on the part where it looks like she's starting to get sad and it's a couple of weeks before her birthday i think so she's just it's just sinking in like she's home alone and lauren is just like do i really want this like i really want to text him type thing but she's not so and she's worrying about what ryan is doing probably sleeping with other women but yeah i am actually having fun reading this by the way not like the audible for this book i got it anyway because this morning i woke up i did my little prayer in my journal and then i did something else and then i got ready for work but i really wanted to read but i can't like read and get ready so i was like oh let me download the audible and i listened to the demo or like the sample i didn't like it i don't like the person that reads for this book and there's not another character for ryan either so i don't like the person who's reading it but i downloaded it anyway because i just wanted to 
to read the book or like listen to the book but i would rather just read it i don't like the audiobook for it all that to say though it does help me to read more i guess so that's why i got the audiobook but you guys i'm having so much fun reading this my favorite part is like she was talking to one of her co-workers about like how she really felt because no one really knows how she feels except like her sister and now her co-worker and i was just laughing so hard when they were talking about the underwear like panties and like how you would wear cute panties for your husband or your boyfriend and then they were just like talking about like oh you can wear whatever you want like you can wear the granny panties and i'm just laughing i legit was laughing out loud when they were talking about that and i just thought like i think that's why like i said in my earlier um clips like taylor jenkins reed is like relatable like her characters are relatable so i just thought that was really funny but i am enjoying it i was just giving you guys a quick little update i'm probably i want to read more tonight but guys i have to be at work tomorrow by 11 it is 11 30 so in 12 hours i will be at work walking around which is weird but i really want to read but there's other stuff i need to do tonight but i just wanted to give a quick update and oh yeah you guys can see my hair now i took my hair out and my mom helped me wash it and like relax it down out so that's what my hair looks like so i cut my bob it's it was higher than this obviously because my hair has been growing but yeah i had a bob but as you can see my hair is growing back i was just wanting to say that but um yeah that's about it and i also i legit have her Jan taylor jenkins Reed's other book daisy john and the six i never read this yet and i bought this last year i believe or maybe earlier this year like earlier earlier this year like january and i have yet to read it for some reason now the audible for this i listened to i think there's different characters so maybe i I could do the audible for this but i really want to put all my attention to this but i probably won't film at all tomorrow and saturday because my boyfriend comes back in town from training tomorrow so i know i'm gonna spend some time with him but if i i'm gonna keep reading but i will update you guys maybe on how that is going later this week or in a couple days so i might see you guys in a couple days i might see you tomorrow who knows but hopefully if you are still watching this vlog thank you so much hopefully um if you've read this book because obviously i'm giving spoilers we can talk about it in the comments i love talking about books with other people like at my job but it's hard because not a lot of us read the same books but hopefully with you guys maybe we can have a little community and talk about books i've always wanted my own book club and i don't know how i do it but if you're interested in that maybe we can all like read the same books or talk about them and have discussions i think that would be so freaking fun <sighs> Now I'm getting sidetracked. I should go. So I'm gonna go get ready for bed, get ready for work tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Hello everyone. So I am back. I just finished After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Honestly y'all, I kind of don't know how I feel about the book. Um, I have my notes here though of stuff that I want to talk about. I have all my notes here, some points I want to cover, but y'all, I got to like, I was like 15 pages. Literally, I was 15 pages from finishing the book, but I didn't want to finish it. And it's not like I wanted to DNF it because it was bad. Obviously, if I had 15 pages, pages left to go I liked it but for some reason I didn't want it to end I don't know why I don't know if it's because I expect it like better I don't know if it's because I didn't want it to end but at the same time it's not my favorite book I definitely enjoyed her other book better you guys already know what it's gonna be the reason why I didn't like after I do so much is because I compared the two too much and they're two totally different things this one everybody and their mom knows about 
but it's about Evelyn and her going through seven husbands. And this one is about, I'll, I'll get into it in for a second, but right now I think I'm still processing my thoughts, but I am gonna talk about this book. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, I did a whole vlog over it. It was actually fun vlogging. Uh, it's harder than I thought though, because there's times where I was like, should I feel myself reading? Should I not? Should I just enjoy the book? Do I need to get content? I don't know, but it was still fun. And of course I'll get better over time. So if you did enjoy the vlog, just give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. And I can definitely do more reading vlogs. But right now I am going to go over my thoughts of After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I'm going to look at my notes. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes because I don't want this outro to be too long of me going over the book. But this book, After I Do, I'm going to give you like my synopsis of it. So it is about Lauren and her husband Ryan who are on the edge of a divorce after being married almost 15 years. I believe it's 15 years. I could be wrong, but it's 10 to 15 years. And they decide to separate for a year. So in this separation, they cannot talk to each other at all. They cannot call, text. They cannot do any of those things. They have no contact with each other and they do not live together. So just keep that in mind. Um, So within that time, Lauren tries to learn about why she's fed up with Ryan and debates whether getting back with him after the year is over or leaving him. So I think what drew me to this book is the content of the book, the context, I mean. I thought it was cool. It's like, I love love. So it's like, oh my gosh, are they gonna stay together? Are they gonna break up? Like, what is she gonna learn? But I feel like as I was reading the book, I love the beginning. I love the beginning of the book. You saw how they went from how they met and they fell in love and they're in the honeymoon stage to them arguing almost every day about little stuff that doesn't really matter that much. And I was so invested in that. I was so invested. And I understood why they did the separation thing for a year. But at the same time, I don't like the delivery. In the end, you guys, and don't come at me if you like this book, because I still love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Like y'all, I have this book from her now. I have The Seven Husbands. I also have Daisy Jones and The Six. I have yet to read this book for some reason. I think I'm intimidated. As in like, I feel like I'm gonna be so invested in it. I need to give it all my time and precious care. I am scared. If it's as good as Evelyn Hugo, am I ready for those emotions? Am I ready to maybe cry my eyes out or laugh my head off? I don't know yet. So I've yet to read this, but after I do just fell a little short for me. Um, let me look at my notes. I gave this book three to three and a half stars. And to me, that's pretty decent because it wasn't a bad book at all, but it wasn't good. And I guess I should go into why I feel this way. So let's talk about that. So now we're gonna talk about my personal opinions of the book and what I think. And again, this is kind of like a spoilerly blog. So if you haven't read the book and you're planning on reading it, do not watch this. <laughs> Just don't, cause I am not good at keeping the secrets, but I'm gonna talk about my feelings of the book and hopefully it can start conversations in the comments of what you guys think. Cause I would love to hear it if you read the book. So if you haven't, I'm so sorry. Obviously this is a spoiler vlog. So if I give away spoilers and you're mad, you know what you came for. But I'm gonna talk about maybe why I didn't dislike the book, but also aspects that I liked as well. Some of the things that I love, I love about Taylor Jenkins Reid's books is her characters. So I wrote that down and I said, I love Taylor Jenkins Reid's characters, has lots of personality. And my favorite character in this book is Rachel. I think I liked her because she was very loving and caring and I have a sister of my own. So the dynamic between Lauren and Rachel, I could totally relate to because me and my sister are two I say we're three years apart but it's really two years and some months so I'm really close to her now that we're older and I remember just back then being like why do we argue so much like why did we hate each other kind of now she is pregnant and having a baby in a couple weeks so I'm just like I don't know our connection is great and Lauren and Rachel reminded me of that so I love that aspect of it I love her characters and I also put this note in here and I said you can find relatable characters but I did not like the context of the book so I guess now I'm going to explain what I didn't like about after I do so let's see oh this is common and I know this book was about them like almost getting a divorce because obviously something's wrong in their relationship and honestly it was just miscommunication and to me personally when books have miscommunication I don't like them I guess because all you have to do is talk about your feelings or just say what you don't like or what you do like and they have trouble doing that which I should have known but I guess I just wasn't thinking um I think the execution was going to be different and I'm going to talk about that a little more but there was just a lot of miscommunication between 
between Ryan and Lauren and I feel like the separation was good but I don't think it was necessary. I love the beginning when they were together. I actually love their arguments they had because they're real. Like I am in a relationship with my boyfriend and we have been together for this December would be five years and there were times that were really high and there's times that were really low and I look back and our really low times were just miscommunication and now that we've kind of got an understanding of each other everything's kind of better. So in the end I don't know I just feel like Ryan and Lauren could have thought of something else to do which leads me to Reed could have done this in a better way. I, I don't know let me just read what I put. Some parts seem predictable. I do not like it when I can predict something in a book because to me I don't feel like I am the smartest person but I'm not dumb. So there was some things in this book that I was like you know with her grandmother they kept joking like or that she kept saying she has cancer and they didn't believe her and they kept saying it so much in the book that I was like okay she's probably gonna die of cancer in this book and then she ended up getting cancer and she did pass away and then when Lauren's brother um Charlie got a girl pregnant named Natalie for some reason I called it and I should have filmed me thinking of it but I think I was reading this at work on my break so I obviously didn't film at work but um when Natalie when I read the part where Natalie was pregnant I was like I literally and I remember thinking this and I was like somehow her baby is going to be due when the grandma dies it's gonna line up that way and it did so part of me I just didn't feel surprised like I know Reed has a lot of plot to this but this one I just I didn't like the execution of it all I really didn't so I didn't like how predictable it was and this kind of made me mad so Lauren would read Ryan's draft emails which was wrong and she literally for it felt like for three-ish chapters she literally kept asking everyone and anybody is it wrong to read a person's email drafts like that's not your email and yes Lauren it is wrong but the fact that at the end when Ryan met her at the hospital and she's like how did you know like how did you know I was at the hospital and he was like I read your email drafts that kind of made me mad because it's like okay you both went into each other's email drafts and you read each other's emails why couldn't you have just talked about that when they were to get I don't know D does that make sense to y'all does do y'all see why I'm upset because it's like they could have just the stuff they were emailing about they could have just talked about it like why didn't they just say it and I understand they had really bad communication their marriage was just like really sour so they couldn't really sit down and talk to each other because they were so mad but at the same time if you were reading his drafts and then she he was reading hers like I don't know I didn't like that I kind of didn't like he was reading her drafts too because then they were both laughing about it like huh like it's funny how you read him and I did but at the same time I was like this is not funny like I don't know I just didn't think it was funny and I kind of was just over at that point because I'm like at the end of the day that's predictable I should have known because it's like how did he know to go to the hospital he was reading the drafts too so yeah and another point of it all is I did not like how they got with other people while they were separated which I understand but maybe because I hate cheaters to me I think that's cheating and I didn't like how you know she it's right for her to be mad that he was with Emily but I didn't like how she ended up being with David like I didn't like that aspect of the book either I think I thought the execution was going to be different I think I thought in the book that we were going to see them try to work it out together and not them being separated so I think I think that's why I didn't enjoy the book I thought it was going to be a different execution Execution. Let's see what else I maybe didn't like. I already went through. Lauren kept asking different people the same question and I think that made me mad because she didn't even take their advice. I feel like she didn't. The only person she kind of listened to was her grandmother when she told her to write to the Axe Alley, I think. So it just made me mad that she would just ask all these different people their opinions and of course they based it off of their life or they stand firm in their views and Lauren, to me from start to finish, she didn't grow. I really don't feel like she grew as a person I feel like Ryan did even though this is not a dual perspective this is solely Lauren's perspective we don't get a taste of Ryan at all except through his email drafts but I feel like Lauren did not grow within that 10 month span because they didn't go the whole year and I feel like she was the same and she just realized like yeah I want to make this marriage work I don't know how but I want it to work but a part of me is like they didn't change I feel like Ryan did maybe maybe Ryan changed but Lauren to me I don't think she changed and I feel like it would have been different if they tried to work it out while they were still living together. I wish that was the case because I was more interested in reading his drafts than her going about her daily life without him. I don't know. I just think it could have been executed differently. I think I thought it would be different. And because only the beginning you get to see Ryan and then at the very end, except through his emails throughout the book. So I'm gonna stick with that. But Lauren to me, I'm not saying I didn't like her, but I didn't care for her. I was more interested in Rachel and her little 
um side plot which was like she wanted to own a bakery and she was scared to do it and i love all the characters they all have personality like charlie he was mad that their dad walked out on them but he was having a child and he knew that he was gonna be different for his son and like i love natalie she seemed really sweet but the annoying kind of sweet like she was too nice for her own good and the mom was really loving the grandma i know somebody like that in real life and it just reminded me to like at the end of the day that person loves you despite how they may treat you so i love reed's characters i do but the story itself as far as after i do goes i don't think i liked it very much um i also like the realness of the relationship at the very beginning when they were arguing a lot not that i argue in a lot of my friendships and relationships but there's some of the arguments they had are real like people actually argue about that and i love how reed is able to kind of put into fiction real events so i did love that aspect of the book and my favorite thing about this book what honestly kept me going was the sisterly sisterly bond <laughs> that rachel and lauren had in the book because i have a sister and i just felt like this is me and her like there are times when i am going a hundred percent for my sister and she's giving me 50 or she's giving me you know her 100 percent and i'm giving zero and i feel like that was happening a lot in this book and i could solely relate to it so i love the bonds in this relationship i think what made me not like the book was how predictable it was and how they managed that whole separation i really thought that it would be different i don't know why but now to think about it at the back of the book i think it explains they're gonna have a year apart yeah it does so i should have known that from the beginning so that's my fault i just think it could have been a little bit better um so the last thing i wrote here is do i recommend and i'm going to say i recommend it yes but i also say no and i wrote down why so i said yes because it's a taylor jenkins read book so obviously you need to go read it and for her characters because you can find someone to relate to but i say no because i don't think it was executed well and i felt like lauren didn't change throughout the book because that was the whole point of them going on this one year separation was to learn about what they like what they don't like and she does realize that but i don't think as a person she changed and i wish she had so overall after i do by taylor jenkins reed i give it i think i'm gonna stay with a solid three and a half stars because it was not bad at all it wasn't a bad book but i don't think it was great i think because i am comparing it to evelyn hugo which was amazing five star read that i read last year and i y'all don't know how bad i want to reread this i might as well just do it but i think because i'm comparing it to this like deep down i think i am and i don't think this was this matched up to it i don't think it did but i do recommend um if you like uh just relationship stuff but it was not my favorite so i'm gonna leave it at three and a half stars and yeah so that is my book vlog of me reading after i do by taylor jenkins reed if you like this vlog please give it a thumbs up and i will totally do another vlog again of a different book but that is all for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to see more book videos from me i also will be posting some gaming videos soon which i'm really excited for so you guys are gonna see a lot from me the next couple of weeks which is great and if you want to be here for it hit subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye